Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and today we're looking at Factorio Space Age. It is October the 21st, and the Space Age update has just dropped. Factorio is another game I've played a lot of in the past. I've completed it several times. The new Space Age adds new dynamics to the game, new equipment, and takes you beyond the end game of the original Factorio, which is when they launched a probe into space. So this is just a quick initial look at the game, spot any changes, have a look what is different. The bulk of the Space Age actually takes place after you complete the main Factorio game. So we're going to start a brand new game. So single player, new game. Now I'm just going to play free play Space Age. I don't want a tutorial. Everything's going to be default except for rich resource. I'm just turning the resource up a bit. So if you look, these just turn up. It just gives us a bit more material to work with. Uh, I'm not going to worry about changing the spitters or anything like that. Uh, you can see here we've got different planets. So we've got uh, Navis, Vulcanus, Gleba, Fulgora, and Aquilio. Aquilo. Um, yeah, that's it. So these are different worlds you can uh, explore within the game. Uh, terrain and things, again, I'd split against various planets. Um, but yeah, but I'm not going to change any of that. I'm literally going to rich resources. Just hit the seed a few times. Let me copy that. I've just made a note of that seed so that if anybody wants to follow along, they can do. Let's have a quick preview of the terrain. So we're going to start in the middle here, so we've got some coal, some iron, some copper underneath the trees there, and some stone. We've got oil over there, we have some uranium over there, the nearest spitters, there's a few small, yes, spitter camps over there, and over here. So, yeah, I think we're starting over here, I think that's quite a good one. Let's just, yeah, and we've got a little lake so we can start producing steam early on. So, let's get going. So this is no different, you're still crashed landing in a ship. Uh, welcome Factorio Space Age, free player. Your task is to dispatch an interstellar space platform. You will need to research advanced technology in order to unlock the rocket silo and discover other planets. Start small, work your way up to automation, construction, construct a reliable base of operation and reach for the stars. Protect yourself from the native species as they might not, as they might not appreciate your presence. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> they don't like you polluting the planet either. So first things first, scroll out a bit of what I'm doing and hit alt and you can see that then brings up the symbol of anything that is available. That's the same with all the machines and everything, so I'll just do that thing. So I'm doing it. I press Control and click on that, it just picks everything up that's in there. And obviously, I want to pick these steel sheets up, and I think that's everything there, except for some bits in this one. Yeah, some bullets in there. I think that's everything. Yeah, nothing else. Right, first things first, let's get some coal going. Uh, we need some stone, so let's just right click to harvest. Uh, we will need the stone, that's a quicker way of doing it than harvesting the st um, stone up here. You just get a lot more stone for your money when you break up these rocks. Just get rid of that. And we'll have to get rid of it anyway because it's in the way. Right, there we go. Got plenty of stone to keep us going for the beginning. So here is our iron. Where's our coal? Oh, it's not a particularly big coal patch, that. Okay, let's just get rid of these trees as well. Just want to open up the gap between these two a bit. And again, it's just right click to clear the trees. And we will need that wood for a couple of things. All 
Right, and you. Right, first things first. So if you press E, you bring up your build menu, and these are the things we can build so far, which isn't a great deal. I want to build a crate. I'm now going to sign that crate to zero. And we've got our uh, miner, a basic miner, put that down, and our furnace. So press E again. So the first thing I want to do, set down a coal miner and a crate to begin with. And now I can, if I right click on the wood, I can split it in half and drop that in there. And that will start now mining coal and dropping it in that crate. As you can see, I'll just let that run for a little bit. While that's doing that, I'm going to collect some iron ore. As you can see, it's really slow collecting of my hand. Let's get about 10 iron ore. Okay. You can also see up here to press T to access the research tree. So, um, first thing we really want is this. Actually, it's not this. In this one, we just need iron plates. Craft 50 iron plates. To craft an iron plate, you need a furnace. You put your iron ore in it. And then you stick some coal in it. And that coal is what we started with. Um, what we've got in here so far, 11. I'll pick that up. And that will run down them trees fairly quickly. Like burn those through the trees fairly quickly. While that's doing that, I need to get some iron plates. Because I want to build another one of these. And to do that, we click here. Actually, we've got enough to do it. That'll build and it will appear down here. And now, actually, get rid of you a minute. Uh, and I'll stick you there. If I point them towards each other, so I'm pointing this one towards that one. Now if I hover over that one, press R, I can rotate it. And now they're pointing to each other. So that one is mining coal and feeding into that one. That one's mining coal and feeding it back into that one. And I can pick up that crate just by right clicking now. So now they're just feeding each other. Although it doesn't look like that one's working. Why aren't you working? You've got coal. Target full. Ah, it's because the wood's in there. Let's get rid of the wood. Okay. Now it's just feeding each other with coal. And they will do that until they're both full. In the meantime, I pick up my iron plates. And go and mine some more. You scroll the wheel to zoom in and out, by the way. And it's night time now, as you can see by how dark it is. Ooh, too far away. So now 10, iron, uh, 10 units of iron. I'll do for now. Dump them in there, and that'll set going again. While that's doing that, I want to try and build another one of these, which I can. And if you've got all the materials here, you don't need to build individual, individual things. So if you click on that, you can see it needs three iron plates, three iron gears, and one stone furnace. Uh, th three iron plates are hard. Three iron gears, if we look at what an iron gear takes, it takes two iron plates. So for the three iron gears, I would need six iron plates plus the three iron plates above it, so that's nine iron plates. And a one stone furnace, and the stone furnace just takes five stone. So I had all that material on me, so it automatically built all those items, and then built the miner for me. So I can now stick this down, uh, press R to rotate. Actually, let me pick that up, and I'm going to put you there. And then you can take that coal, and you can take half of that wrong one. Half of that coal. That will now field iron ore straight into the furnace. As you can see we're producing iron plates and I'm not really having to do anything. Take that. And I want to build another one. And another one of them. Where's the copper? 
So here is a stone. If you look at harvesting the stone, it's just as slow as harvesting the iron, which is why I broke up those rocks. It's much, much quicker. Now, I don't like this being surrounded by all these trees, so I'm not going to clear it all out. Just clear a bit of space so I can see what I'm doing. I will eventually clear all this out, but not quite yet. All right. So again, we can put down a furnace, put down a miner, half the coal in the miner, and the other half the coal in the furnace. And that is now producing copper plates. How are we doing here? So I'll take you. Let's wait on getting some. take you and they will just keep feeding each other now how are we doing 22 so I've nearly got everything I need to make the steam power and the electronics in fact so now we just unlocked steam power and we are not far off unlocking there we go, we've unlocked uh, electronics. Like that needed copper plates, craft 10 copper plates, and that's unlocked these bits here. So now, what we can do is we haven't unlocked the. No. Everything in yellow is what's been unlocked. So that's the electrical pole, pipes, pipe, undergrounds and the electric inserters that one is a coal powered inserter on here we have unlocked the boiler the steam engine and the pump which allows to pump water boil it turn the steam and produce electricity in this one we've unlocked the copper cable which was needed for creating electrical cables and electronics uh, green electronics boards uh, nothing in here. Uh, what kind of I got? Uh, that's okay. But to progress now, I need to unlock the red uh, science pack. I need to put down a science lab. Uh, science lab. What do I need for that? So for the science lab, I need ten iron gears. So that's if you right-click on this, it'll create five, ten down here. You see, I've been created very quickly. 10 of those. What else do I need? I need transportation belts. That was under here. That was the other thing I was unlocked. How many do I need? I need four transportation belts. One, two, three, four. By left clicking. And I need 10 green circuit boards. So what do I need for a green circuit board? Each circuit board is three copper coils and one iron plate. So let's grab the iron plates from here. And then I need to come up here and grab the copper plates. How are we doing for coal? You're down to six, so let's top you up. How are you doing? You're down to nine. I'll put that in there. Let's keep that going. How are you doing? 27, you're okay. You're 20, and they're okay. So now I need, what do I need? So for the green, as you see, it says 10 green circuit boards are now showing in yellow because I'm able to make them. So I click that, you see it'll make the coils, cogs we need. It'll make the copper coils. It'll make the 10 circuit boards. And then it will make the research lab. And my research lab is now available, so I click on that. Press C to get rid of that. I just dumped this down. At this point, anyway, I don't want it to be too far away. It needs power, so I have to pick that up. What do we have down here? That's our crushed craft just here. Um, that means the water is. Oh, it's quite away. This water actually. I've just run past it. Yeah, I've just run past it. And it's a bit close to some enemy over there. So to use the water, I need one pump. 
Uh, I've not got enough to build a thing. I need one boiler. Can I get a fish? Oh yeah, I got fish. Uh, I know you use the fish later. When you're ill, I should still work it out. So now we've unlocked this one by building the lab. This has unlocked all of these, but all of these now need a red science packs to unlock them. So you need, and that's the one I'm after, that one next. That's the electric miner. And then we start getting turret defenses and um, automation assemblers, as well as uh, weapons and things like this and radar. But first we've got to build the steam engine. And to do that, I need more iron. Yeah, it's a good way that. Okay. Okay. So now I should have enough to build a steam engine. I do. But to get the power from the steam engine to my base, I'm going to need um, power poles. So I want to build pretty much all the ones of them I can at the moment. That means I'm probably going to be out of copper plate now. So let's go and pick that up. This is a long way to be running my poles <laughs> at this early in the game. So I have the water pump. You can see there's now some green dots around this water body of water. If I put this against it, you can see that turns green as a blue arrow pointing up. If I put it on this side, it points right. Put it on that side, it points left. So let's, let's stick it right up here in the corner. Make as much use of the... I'll make it as close as possible. Put that down. I could then do with a handful of pipes. Let's quickly create those. I've already created a boiler. So here's a boiler, it's green because it was on top of me, sorry it's red because it was on top of me. When it's green you can place it down, but if you see you've got on left and right there, I just place it. You've got input output, input output and a big output there. That's the water, drop the water there. That's a little steam symbol, steam comes out there. So I just pick it up again and uh, do it again and put it where I want it. So rotate it so that we've got a water connected to water. I could probably attach that straight to there, but I want you just one little gap, like so. Uh, then steam engine. Again, you see in the steam engine, let's rotate it. We can drop it down, in out with a little steam symbol, in out with a little steam symbol. And uh, the power symbol means it's not connected to any of the power network. So let's pick it up again. I want to put that one. over here and again I'm just, I could put it there but I'm just going to do one gap like so and then I'm going to get my pipes place one pipe there place one pipe there we've now got water coming into here into the boiler but the boiler's got no fuel have I got any coal on me I do good so first things first let's oh stick you down here I want you there. I'm going to run another one over to here. Press Q to stop the placement. I want to put you here. And now I want to build one of these inserters. And you are going to go there. You are going to go there. And I'll insert it. You can see it's got an arrow pointing and a bar. So you want it to, I want to take it from something. So I want to take this crate into there. So I rotate and the arrow is pointing into the boiler like so. And now if I put the coal in there, or oh, actually no, put half the coal in there. It's not going because there's still no coal in here yet. And that's not going because it's got no power. If you mouse over the power pole, you can see the blue square and that was inside that blue square so it will get power when there's power available so to get the boiler going i'm just going to dump a bit of coal in there that is now going our steam engine's going and if i click on the pole you can see we've now got power being produced now that will just keep putting coal into there as it needs it so i'm just going to put the rest of the coal in that crate for now and then I'm going to start running these poles. So if you 
If I move the mouse across, you'll see eventually the cable between them disappears after further so I can go. Rather than having to do that each time, what you can do is you can find one, press the left mouse button hold, and then just run. And it can run up, sideways, and it'll place it at its maximum distance. And I want to come up to here. Now, where is everything up here? So I want to come this way a bit. Right, that'll do. Q to get rid of that, so I'm bringing power up to... That's full, you're full. You're full, take that. I bring power up to here. I don't quite need it yet, but I will shortly. I'm just making sure it's up there. And now I've got a load of coal. Let's just go back down. I actually went across too far with them poles. I should have brought them straight up here. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And then place all our coal in there. Because that is what's going to keep providing us with power. Now we can have up to two of these, I believe. Two steam engines for every boiler. So if you ho hover over the boiler, it tells you on the right hand side. Pollution 30 meters. Health 200, so it's okay. Water 200 of 200, Consu consumed burnable fuel 1.8 megawatts, so it's got 5 fuel in there. Uh, output 0 of 60 per second, uh, steam 190, temperature 165. Um, this takes 30, so it is consumption 0, zero of, of 30 a second. That will take 30 of the 60 this can produce. So under generation, the steam output is zero, 00 of 60. So that produces a maximum of 60. Each one of these takes 30, so you can have two of these. Yeah, I couldn't remember if to be honest, by the top of my head. So there we go. We've got a bit of steam being produced anyway. And I should keep running for a while. So now let me place my lab. And it's got to be within power, so it needs to be in the blue area of one of these poles. Just a little bit in, that'll do. Doesn't have to be all the way in. So I've now got the that set up. I can now press T to select research, and what I really want is that one there. And that one takes 10 red science packs. Now I can't automate the production of science packs at the moment. So I need to go to E, and if you come into here, you can see we've got the science packs here. And each one of those takes two iron plates and one copper plate. So I need to grab iron plates and come back to my hand and press right click on that twice to produce 10 red science packs. We have the total raw sort of halfway down beside the 5.5 seconds. So 5.5 seconds is how long it takes to produce the total raw, the total raw materials it needs which is two steel, one iron but it actually needs one cog which is the two iron and the one copper sorry not steel. So now I've just got to let those run through. Actually I don't. What I can do is take those, drop them in here. And that will now start producing science. Why aren't you producing science? Because I haven't picked anything. So back in here, pick that. And I forgot to click start research. There we go. Now that's it going. It's now buzzing away. And let me just drop the last three of those in there. So if I've got Hold down control and click it on it puts whatever's in your hand into the building if it'll take it. So now I've just got to let that produce the science pack. You can see it'll go up here as it's going. And if I want to speed that up, I can produce another one of these. And now I've got another one of them. I can place that down as long as it's touching within the blue area. And I can come in here, take half of that science pack. Drop meant that I have now got two of them going, which would be double the speed. So I was oh I run out there. What, what did I take? Oh, oh 25, not 10. <laughs> Times 25. So I need 25 of those, okay. So um uh, everything you've got. Take you take you. You need some coal. 
We need some coal. Take you. You're okay. You need some coal. I just 25 science packs, so I need to produce 25 of them. Let's just let that run. While that's running, let's get the first five done. What I want to look at is the science tree. So this is a tree. These are the things in yellow you can research. Things turn green, so I scroll all the way down the bottom. I want to research them. Anything here in yellow you can research currently. As you go down, you can see these ones start needing green science pack, which we've got to unlock there. Further down, we've got blue science packs purple science packs, um, grey science packs, and then there's some down here that need the white science packs, and the pink science packs. And I can see already there's things on here that are different. So this is new, this is all new. Yeah, there's some other things on here. And on the right, if you pick something on the left, it kind of shows you what they can feed into. If you pick something that's red, say this, it will, you can see by looking above it what you need to get to it. So I need to research all of them, then them, then that, then that, then that, then that, and eventually I'll unlock that. Um, so the that one, say the uh, military pack, the grey pack, I need to research these ones and that. And then unlock the weapons, which I need the green pack for before I can do. And eventually I'll unlock that one. And that feeds in all of these different things here. So that's a science tree for the tech tree for you anyway. I probably should start with the assemblers. That one is one I need 10. And I could have just done the science packs and the assembler. Rather than build them myself. Um, set that run down a minute. Anyway, guys, uh, that was just literally. I'm just that was an introduction. I thought it was. I just want to see what has changed. Uh, one thing I did notice is if I, ooh, where is it? If I hover over the coal here or over the iron, on the right hand side you've got burning, uh, burner mining drill, electric mining drill. That big mining drill's a new one. So that's a new item in there as well. Anyway. I will play more of this at a later date. This is just an introduction to show you how to start playing Factorio. Obviously, it's a long way to go before we get into space and then being able to use the uh, Space Age updates. So, yeah, guys, leave any comments below. Um, please hit like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it if you join my channel. But for now, it's Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.